Hey guys, it's that one when it's very back again with another tutorial. Yeah, another virtual box tutorial. Yay! The last one was a big hit, so I wanted to do it again. This time we're gonna do it with Windows 98. So yeah, here's how to install Windows 98 in VirtualBox. First, go to new. Then name it. I'm gonna name it Windows. 98 uh just click next you can leave this as base memory i can i'll just pump it up to 128 just select create a virtual hard disk now you can leave it at this size and of course you can change it it's up to you and finish oh yeah and also the virtual box version i'm running is version 7.0 this might not work on here so then go to settings go to system and then go to acceleration and make sure you disable nested paging see here uncheck that because if you don't you might come up with an error like this yeah I'm gonna pump this video memory up all the way to this storage I'm going to Select this, choose the disk file, and we're going to solve first edition. Okay. Click OK, and start it. Okay, so... We're going to boot from CD-ROM, store Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. Now you're just going to go to this screen, just press enter. Just press enter, once again. And then do yes enable large disk support press enter boot from cd-rom start windows 98 setup from cd-rom and now it's just going to format drive c so you can just wait for that And once it's complete, just press enter. Okay, just ignore this little blurb here. And you're gonna go come to this screen. Welcome to Windows 98 setup. Just press continue. select directory we're just gonna go with the C windows so you can go typical portable compact or custom I'm just gonna do typical um, windows components we're going to install the most common components you can show a list of components so you can choose which ones you want to install and which ones you don't. But I'm just going to install the most common ones. Now the computer name. We're going to, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it Win98. Win and you can leave the computer description blank. Hmm. I don't live in the United States. Uh. So just select your country. I live in Canada, so I'm just going to select that. Next. And next. Now it's just going to copy the files. So just wait. But once it's done, it'll come up with a little restart now button. And then once you're restarted, you should see this menu again. Just just press boot from hard disk, not boot from CD-ROM.
Now I'll just ask you for your user information. Um, I'm I'm just gonna type out my name. You don't have to type in your company, but you can if you want to. Um, license agreement. Just press I accept. Next, and now product key. Now, the last time I did this with Windows 95, the one in the comments section said it comes up with a little uh, authenticity key thing. That that's a, and if you're still watching this, that's called a product key. But but yeah, this time I'm actually going to provide it, and I'm just going to type it in, and once I'm done. I'm just going to show you my screen with the product key in. Here's the product key. Now I'm not going to wait for too long because you have a pause button, you can just pause it. But here's the product key. Okay. Then click next and and now just start the wizard. So it will say Windows 98 is now initializing the driver database. Windows 98 is now setting up your hardware and any plug and play devices you may have. And then it's going to depict any non plug and play hardware in your computer. Like Windows 95, it might take a few minutes and may cause your PC to stop responding. Just restart the computer if that happens. And yeah, just leave it to do this. And I'll just catch back when this is done it said there it was setting up any plug and play devices you may have so and then it'll come to this screen so you just press restart now just press boot from hard disk and now it's just gonna set up your hardware and any plug play devices you may have This takes some time, so I'm just gonna ask you for your time zone. So I live in the Atlantic Canada time zone, so GMT minus four. Apply that. Okay. Control panel. It's just gonna sound control panel. Programs on the start menu. Then it's just gonna do Windows Help, MSS Program Settings, Tuning Up Application Start, and then it's just gonna do, then it's just gonna update the system settings. So, just gonna leave it to do that. This little restart prompt, and then, once again, click Restart Now. Boot from the hard disk. Now it's just gonna boot. Press OK, and then it'll do this. It it will install the software for uh, hardware, and it's just gonna update the system settings again. This should take a lot shorter. And then start sound and boot. And that is how do you install Windows 98 in VirtualBox. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later. Bye.